to have us stuck in the system of liter- needing to learn French uh, to the level that they required seemed quite an impossibility when we're required to work so many hours. With Quebec's French language reform or Bill 96 top of mind for many right now, they're telling their stories of challenges faced as English speakers in the province and Melissa Lim is one of them. She's a nurse who moved from BC to Quebec five years ago and has only recently been able to say she's a certified nurse here. After difficulties with a French language exam, she needed to be able to practice permanently in the province. There's no shortage of job postings whatsoever. And and even as someone who's uh, new to the system, there's regular call-outs. Even with a lack of um, skills, they're just always desperate for, for more nurses everywhere. Nurses entering the province have only four years to pass a French language exam. They're given a temporary license. And after the four years, if they do not pass the exam, they will not be able to become a licensed nurse in Quebec. Something as a Canadian, Lim says, is challenging. It doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen when you're exhausted if you've been working a lot or if you have a family to manage. In order to pass the exam, Lim left her job and all volunteer responsibilities with the support of her family and was able to focus for a year on studying French. It was on her third try that she passed the exam, but Lim says not everyone is so lucky. I have uh, someone that I know right now who's really under quite a bit of pressure to get this done now in the next six months, if not her immigration status is threatened or the fact that she you know, will never be able to obtain a nursing license here you know, will fall through, um, which is really unfortunate because she's beautifully qualified. It's just given her family situation, she doesn't have the ability to maybe focus and, and learn French as quickly as I did. Those who do not pass the exam are forced to do another job or leave the province to practice elsewhere. It's it feels that there is more a worry um, to hold on to culture and language in this province than there is for the there's no there's no equivalent worry about losing talent about losing qualified workers about losing people that have passion and heart and skill with the shortage of healthcare staff in the ongoing pandemic lim says it's not about eliminating the french language exam but adding some leniency to make up for the shortage because what's happening is we're being you know pushed away out of the system that tells us that we're not good enough we're not qualified enough um, that they they'd be they'd be more comfortable seeing us walk away and work elsewhere than to uh, than to lose their language and their culture in Montreal Felicia Adam City News